How's it going, everyone? It is Reversal Trader King, and I've been working out a system that I really think everyone's going to love. Um, and everyone that's been in my day trading community, if you're watching this uh, video and you're getting my alerts, this is exactly how I'm doing my day trade alerts. I try to find these things for you, um, but you can find them yourself if you want. But it, obviously, if you're in the community, more eyes, the better. Um, yeah, and I, and I look for plays just like this, what I'm about to show you, and how you can make massive money. It's not going to happen all the time. I don't take day trades all the time, and if there's no setup, I just don't. I just don't take it, but I'm I'm gonna veer into like trading spy, QQQ, um, the indexes because they offer zero DTEs and um, you can go and make a lot of money, right? And they're gonna fluctuate very fast, but you have to be very precise on your entries. And with this strategy, guys, you are going to be precise. Um, will you lose some? Absolutely. But in the end, I'm telling you guys, you're going to make a lot of money. I'm so excited for this strategy because you don't need a lot of money to do it. And if you guys don't know my strategy, if you're new to watching, this is the band strategy. Click the link down below in the YouTube comments uh, via uh, Discord that's pinned. And it'll say, join the premium Discord. You're going to you're gonna learn a lot. I offer swing trading, day trading services. But let me go over what I see and see if you guys like this. So, you guys know my perfect setup for day trading is the 5-minute candle. As you can see, it's very accurate. We did not get a setup um, uh, during the pre-market here. As you can see, uh, let me get my, uh, uh, where is it at? Let, here's my arrow. We did not get it right in here. It did not touch the band, and that's fine. It went, um, it went way up, and we could have made massive money. But that's fine, because we want to be very picky. Because if we're trading zero DTE options, it, it's not really enough money to just buy QQQ. But you have to have a ton of money if you're just going to scalp it, right? So, I mean, and are you really expecting you can go all the way to the upper band? You know, that's rare cases, right? I was expecting, you know, maybe go up right in here. But all the way up in here, you know, that's a home run hit. So, we really want to look into buying options. And if you look at it, the 28th June expired today. So, all these are gone. Um, if we looked into the 1st July, this is a three-day uh, because of the, of the weekend. These expire but we want to make sure, like, if we're going to trade QQQ, we'll open it up, the option chain, on the 1st of July. And I would be looking for uh, calls or puts. And I'm going to probably do, I'm thinking, one uh, one in the money just to give me a, just a little wiggle room. But obviously, more out of the money is going to give you more money. So I'm kind of like, Elenia, honestly, you're doing zero, to, zero DTEs. They're extremely risky. You're going to make big money if you, you know, really do this right. So uh, do keep that in mind, and um, what, what one thing you want to look at too is I'm just going to give you a basic option bit, uh, thing here. The only things you really want to look at is one the uh, delta is how much your premium is going to change every dollar. Uh, theta is going to obviously kill your thing fast the more you wait. So we want to make sure that we're um, getting these fast, right? Because if if it just stagnates. And we do a zero DTE, let's just say the price does like this the whole time, then we're gonna get wrecked. So we wanna make sure we do trend reversals. And that's why I think this strategy is really good because when you're at the peak here, price tends, it cannot hold that. It has to fall down. I mean, let's not say it has to, but it has to revert to the mean. And that's your EMA 5, 10, and 20. And it did well over that. So this is why it's so exciting. Like, if you guys know just this little move here, is massive money for a zero TTE. You could put like five hundred dollars in, and and make you know well you know one x two x you know whatever. This would have been a massive move if you held it, but I wouldn't have held it that long. These one you you want to be in and out of these plays. So here's the strategy. Uh, we hit the ATR four. Uh, this is your upper band. Um, we want to look for buying puts. Obviously, we don't want to just get in right when you start start seeing it penetrate. We want to see a clear penetration of the upper band. Like it's very clear. There's no like with my eyeballs. Is it penetrating? We want to see a body penetrating like this. So that's why we would not have taken this bottom here, even though it would have been a nice gain. We just wouldn't have taken it. Right. So right here is your clear penetration. And then to get even more precise entries, anybody that's watching me, this is how I'm doing my day trades. Just because the you know the five minutes there doesn't mean I uh, just get in right away. I want to see the one minute candle clearly above the upper band. And I want to look for what I like to look for is um, the KDJ. 
as you know, when I scroll over these candles, uh, the K is like 95, 6 right here. That's really, really oversold. And this was 486.27. I mean, I mean, overextended. So if I do 486.27 and, and go back to where I was, where was this? Um, we wouldn't have taken that trade right there. Because look, 486.27 was right in here on the five minute. So just because the one minute's over doesn't mean it's it's you know it's a trade. We want to make sure the five minutes over, and then we want to make sure the one minute is both coincide um each other. And that's really where you're gonna get these precise entries. I know it's kind of confusing, it's like really tedious, but that you know you can get really monster gains here. So right in here, you see the the EMA5 rebound here, um, right here, and then it makes a new high, and um this right here is like the the perfect thing. And the next thing you want to see too, guys, is time distance of the EMA 20. We have not hit the EMA 20 since 943 was the touch. We touched it back uh, 1018. Anything that don't touch your EMA 20 on the one minute time frame in 30 minutes is really long. So you got to be like, okay, it's we have this big time dis distance from the EMA 20. This alone should give us a nice clear entry to make some money. And then, as you can see, it just kept going down and down. But, you know, you could have took, if you got a really nice entry and you've seen it down in this area, sure, take the game. You know, you're playing zero DTEs. You don't need a massive move, right? You can make massive money on these little short inflection points. Because oftentimes, is right here on this EMA 20, it could bounce and go higher up. I've seen that happen before. It hits this 20, it, it will hit the EMA 20. And you can make massive move on this big trend reversal here. And your zero GT options will be like, bloop, go up in big value. Because 487 to 486, your premium, your delta, as you can say, every dollar it moves, that's how much your delta is going to move. So, for example, if we had the 479 in the money strike and our delta is at 59 cents, our premium is going to move 59 cents from this uh oh, let's say we had it at two dollars. So it would be worth 259. Um, so yeah, I am probably going to lean more into probably the, yeah, the out of money because look at the money you can get on this 49 cents. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So I'll probably do one out of the money. So yeah, that, that's the strategy here, guys. And as you can see, um, we go back to the five minutes, see if we see anything, uh, for this day trading strategy and we see something right in here. Uh, but you have to be really fast on this. And it's kind of like too late in the day. So this one, I probably would have did. I don't even know if I would have taken it, actually. To me, that's just not. It's just too end of the day. You're like, you got 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, you could have made massive money. But maybe do a weekly on that one. So if you did that one, let's compare the uh, one minute chart. 478.46 is the low. So if we go to the one minute chart and see where we are at. Uh, we have... Decent time distance, but not a lot since this is the end of the day. Yeah, th this is pretty nice, right? Um, you had a K of 7.21. Could have kind of scaled in scaled in a little if you wanted to. Make sure, you know, you get that quick EMA 20 touch. Could have made pretty good gain on that. Um, not as good as the setup as before, but still could have made money on that. Um, the next one, let's go to a day prior and see. Um, like, for example, this day, no trades. Don't force it. It's just zigzags. You don't know the direction. You want to look for overextensions. Um, this trade, no trades. There's nothing on the five minute. And that's why zero TTEs, I, I, I'm i going to be very frugal. If there's no trade, there's no trade. This one, no trade. Um, this one, we have a trade. So how would we have traded this? This looks like a very brutal one. But as you can see... There's lots of gains to make in it. This is actually one of the best scenarios to have. As you can see, we hit the five minute here, we go up, hit the five minute here, we go up, and you just keep making tons of money on these uh, zero TTEs. Uh, the first five minute, I would not have taken, and I'll show you why, because there's no time distance. Uh, let's go back to that one before. I hate it because it takes us to the most current data. So I gotta go way back. Um, yeah, I, I would not have taken the first one. Is this the zigzag one? Is that the zigzag one? No, that's not the right one. It, because the one minute is going to clearly penetrate. Here it is. Uh, because right here you had the first five minute candles and not really a trade I would have taken. Now this one I would have because the, um, look at the time distance here on the EMA 20. We had the five minute that was clearly showing a breakdown here with the one minute touching here. 
and look at the massive room bump 482 all the way to 485 beautiful gain would not have taken this one because there's no time distance guys so make sure you have close to 30 minutes of time distance because if you don't this is what's going to happen guys you're gonna be like oh it's hitting the bottom band on the one minute so it should reject yeah it's going to reject but look at how fast this rejection is one minute right here and then go shooting back down unless you have really fast fingers you're not it's going to be really hard that's like that's like scalping like you gotta be scalping right there, but we're we're trying to like day trade uh, these zero DTs. So right in here was where the five minute was touching the lower band, and basically what we want to see is this one minute touching the lower band, and um, there was plenty of move to get up. Right in here we recovered all the way up into this range here, as you can see from if you accumulated just any all of these candles here, you don't have to get the most precise entry, but you know you're getting a very good entry, so you would have made some gains here. This trade you would not have taken, no time distance, no lower band on the one minute. So the one minute has to show in a coordination with the five minute. So in this trade, I saw two good trades, one right here and one right here. Would have made two very excellent trades. And those are the two examples I wanna show you. Like I said, if the five minute does not touch the lower band, we do not take the trade. If the one minute in, is not touching the lower band, but the five minute is, we do not take the trade. The one minute will give you the most precise entry. With time distance, you're gonna make bong, you know, bazookas of money. I'm telling you, I've been, um, I really, I'm really liking day trading, guys. Day trading in out, you know. But the problem with day trading. You got to be patient. A lot of people aren't patient. They're like, well, I didn't get no trade. Um, I'm going to force this trade. I'm going to force this trade, right? I'm going to force this trade right off the bat. And um, it's right here. Five minutes says at the lower band. Sure, you would have made money, but, I, you know, eight times out of ten, you you know, there, there's instances you would not have made money. And then you were like, okay, this was the trade to get. But like I said, guys, a lot of people would try to, like, force a lot of these trades. They see this, and they, and they just try to guess patterns with zero DTEs you know, or anything, or they see like moves go up big and they try to like hurry up and do the trend reversal, or they see it go down big and they try to write puts with it. But as you can see, this was a no day trade. They're, they know you're going to have that no day trade here. There's no trades here. Um, another trade of no trades. If I can get one a week of doing a zero DTE, I'm totally fine with that. I don't want to force it. Right. As you can see, this was pretty decent here, but, uh, there wasn't probably no time distance on this one. Maybe, maybe I, I have to double check that. Uh, this was one of your best ones. So, um, yeah, th there's the um, intro to how I'm going to trade the indexes. Um, if you guys want to learn more about this, this is my zero DTE option strategy. You have to have options, so please do keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to do probably one out of the money. Um, zero DTE, so they were an expired, you know, the day of, so you don't have to put a lot of money and don't feel like I'm putting 50K in these things <laughs> or my life savings. But you can put like $500 in it and you know, make a hundred percent very rapidly fast with this system. I guarantee it. Uh, so I've been really practicing this and I really I am really liking this. So I think we can have a lot of good stuff on this. Um, I'm going to put this part of this. Um, I'm going to look for these kind of trades on the indexes if they do show on the uh, day trading alert section. So if you guys want to know when I take them, do keep in mind that we'll be in the day trade alert section. But I want everybody to know there's no hiding my strategy. This is literally what I'm doing in my day trading community. And if I don't take a trade, I don't take a trade. If it shows, I, I will take a trade. And that's why I have a high win ratio doing day trades because I'm patient. If you guys want to learn more about my strategy, um, there is a premium discord um, that you can join. Go ahead and uh, hit the link down below. It'll be say... Uh, Join the premium discord uh to be a profitable trader and when you click that link it'll be pinned it'll take you to this free chat landing page and you're gonna learn a lot guys you're gonna uh please read how to subscribe read avoid scammers and because i will never message or dm you first basically guys um if you want to subscribe the easiest way to do is just go to server shop look at the two services that you have what i talked about was day trading so that's going to be in the day and swing trading plus section it's 12 bucks a month if you just want swing trading it's six bucks the day and swing trading plus is going to give you swing trades and day trades so it gives you all the value for 12 bucks a month and you're going to get my alerts sent to your phone you're going to get my rtk journal so you can see my wins and losses and um it's going to be fun guys i people because people are like we need some adrenaline. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do day trades. I'm going to figure out what is a good and safe strategy. I don't want to just guess, right? A stock is running up big and I'm just going to go with it. 
and then it just like rug pulls and people blow their accounts. I'm not I'm not doing that. We're gonna have a system, and this is the system that I just showed you. And um, this is going to be added into the day trade alert section. So um, it's day trade alerts is gonna be right in here. As you can see, um, this is what they look at. We did short Carm, we did short Rivian. As you can see, I have clear entries and exits. I did a limit order to buy Sedge, made a uh, uh five percent gain. As you said, see right here, I sold it at twenty eight point ninety five. Um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, you know, it's all here. There's no, you know, hidden proof. There's, it's all transparent, guys. So this is my zero DTE option play on how to make bazookas of money on the indexes. Okay, guys, I'm going to be doing SPY, QQQ, IWM, whatever I see, right, the indexes. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, comment. For all your option lovers that love day trading, share this video to them. I'm sure you guys are going to love it, and this is how we're going to do it. And if you guys want more about the system, join the Discord. I have a complete education video on how to set up your charts like this, how to get you, you know, everything situated. There's a lot of education you got to watch. I gave you just a brief scenario, but I promise you if you spend the time, watch the videos, how to accumulate, you're going to be very set up for to be a successful trader. You know, at least you're going to have risk management. At least you're going to have an actual system. Having a system is the, you know, best thing to have. And then after that is psychology. Control your emotions. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how you feel about it. And if you decide to join the premium Discord, I'd love to have you. And happy weekend.